Hi, I'm Dr. Galen Duncan. Um, I am the Senior Associate AD over Health, Wellness, and Performance. I'm in charge of the training room as well as the sports and performance area. Uh, and those areas are crucial to the development of what we want to see happen with student athletes. And less than a week into the games, they're being defined by a completely different challenge. The pressure Olympic athletes face on the world stage and therefore their mental health. Just the aspect of looking at professional athletes who have talked about mental health openly, folks in the NBA and the NFL, uh, these big money players who have said that mental health is important, I think that it only it, the natural gravi gravity of things is for it to trickle down to what's going on here at a college level. Mental health and sports performance has had a tremendous shift and I think way back in the day it was just pushing mental toughness, mental toughness, mental toughness. And there's been such a transition into understanding that mental performance can give you such an edge and that if you're seeking help from a mental standpoint it's not a weakness. Originally our our main focus in athletic training was doing taping, um, rehab prevention for student athletes to hopefully keep them from getting injured as well as uh, post-surgical or post-injury rehabilitation. Recently, it has evolved to be more of a holistic idea and concept where we look at both uh, the physical, the mental, and as well as nutritional aspects of the student athlete and their, their, their whole being the most important aspect of, of the person. You know, I, I've had the opportunity to work with athletes all over the world. And, you know, quite frankly, up until lately, the U.S. in general has been uh, behind the, the times in terms of, of how they look at mental health and sports performance. Mentally, it's hard in college athletics. You're balancing student life, athlete life, and having someone to talk to will really help you be a better player. In golf specifically, we travel a lot, it's a lot on our mind, bad scores, good scores, it really messes with you and having someone there to tell us this is okay, this is normal, makes it a hundred times better. With our athletes in mental performance, right, we really have to meet them where they stand. So every athlete's going to be a little bit different and to me that's part of the art of coaching, right, is, is finding an athlete, figuring out what motivates them, building that trust and being able to have them trust you to push them to their limits while always keeping their best interests in mind. Now we're trying to reach normal normalcy, so it's like, you know, we're still kind of like traumatized from last year, and it's like um, getting back into that right state of mind. We have to be uh, leaders and see this as uh, a growing uh, demand, and as a result, we, we have taken uh, the initiative to start leading that group, leading this and, and being in charge of it and not just reacting to it. With Galen, you know, being here, he's like at arm's reach. He was right there, to, you know, to be able to talk to, uh, giving us other resources to, you know, be known so we can like, you know, like take advantage of him and stuff. Michael Lippitz and Farah both, you know, they painted a very beautiful picture of what they see this place becoming. And I got really excited about the ideas that we have for advancement in terms of making this place, you know, something very, very special. I'm happy to have guys like Brian Yanka. I'm happy to have guys like Mike Swagger, you know, working in, uh, under me who can take their uh, expertise and professionalism and make these departments what they need to be. I think you don't realize how much it takes on you mentally until you're doing it. I think having people to talk to, even your teammates, about everything that's going on helps even a little bit, but having a sports psychologist or someone who really knows the nitty gritties about college athletics or just athletics in general helps you become a better player and a better person. If we don't take care of our student athletes, then we're not doing our jobs. You know, The rest of us aren't able to realize uh, the wins during the week or on the weekends if we don't take care of what's best for them. And so having two student athletes of my own, you know, at home, my daughter is playing soccer at Alcorn State and my son is playing basketball at Madonna University in Michigan. It's, I know it's imperative to have people who care about what goes on in a student athlete's life. So I've come up with a concept and we're gonna kind of stop using the term mental health around here and we're gonna start using the, the term GRIT. And GRIT is an acronym that we've actually, uh, we will start pushing out that stands for growth, resilience, 
uh, taking initiative and having tenacity about doing it. So the GRIT mental health program will be something that is going to be new here at, uh, at UIC.